This is our brand new remote trauma first aid kit. So this is an upgrade to one of our best-selling kits that used to be called the Major Bleed First Aid Kit. And what we did was we took a ton of customer feedback over the years and made this kit significantly better. So just first of all, overview of the bag. Hive is red, so it's easy to identify with your medical patch on there. And this bag has molly on the front, so you can attach gear here, as well as a molly attachment here. So this bag can be affixed to a larger pack, a uh, headrest of a car, uh, something to that effect, a range bag if you like. And the advantage of that is the mount can stay on whatever you've mounted it to. And when you need the bag, you just unclip this strap, grab your handle, and just pull the bag away. And this will remain on your, like I said, your headrest mount, your range bag, whatever you've got it attached to. Then your bag here, there's a quick release Velcro strap here. And these zippers are oversized, so they're easy to grab. Nice, large, easy to use zippers. Inside, everything in the bag's fairly nicely organized so you can get at what you need to. So first of all, you're gonna get a contents card. This is on right in the rain paper. So it's water resistant. Um, it's not gonna get damaged over time. You're gonna be able to see this in the weather. And it's a good little checklist for your kit uh, to go over your contents, restock if you need to, as well as it goes over the optional extras available with the kit and a video guide going over kind of the components of the kit, how it's organized and how to use some of the gear. So you're getting that in there. Up at the top here, we have our Cat Gen 7 tourniquet, which is our standard tourniquet with this device. You can also upgrade this to the Soft T uh, or the Sam XD tourniquet. Then we have our compact pressure dressing. So that's right here. We have a pair of trauma shears. Our deadly bleed quick reference card on how to treat major bleeding. Our compressed crinkle gauze for wound packing a full-size padded aluminum splint for splinting bone muscle joint injuries, two triangular bandages with two safety pins in each for your slings and swaths, and then back here we have two injury illness report forms, again on that right in the rain paper, so you can write in any weather. Down in the middle here we have a permanent marker to write on the forms, uh, write on your tourniquet, patient gloves, it's just going to write best in all weather, two pairs of nitrile gloves, a three-inch elastic wrap, our CPR face shield with one-way valve, two saline irrigation tubes for irrigating eyes or wounds, three honey packets for low blood sugar treatment, our electrolyte packet to be added to water for treating dehydration, and a little roll of duct tape for just about anything you could use duct tape for. We have our emergency blanket to keep your patient warm. And then our gauze pack back here has four, uh, sorry, two four inch by four inch uh, sterile gauze pads, two non-adherent gauze pads, and one large abdominal pad or a trauma pad. Then in our little zipper component here, we have our swabs. So we have four antiseptic BZK swabs, four alcohol swabs, and then one burn gel. And then in our last packet here, this has all our bandages in it, as well as our tweezers. We have a pair of fine point stainless steel tweezers uh, with a really good point to get out ticks or splinters. And then we have 20 fabric bandages, two fabric knuckle bandages, two fabric fingertip bandages, and two butterfly bandages uh, for small lacerations. So all of this is the components of our brand new remote trauma first aid kit. Really great kit massive upgrades, and this is now available at wildmedkits.ca.